from Mount Fuji. <laughs> guys it's Aika and today we are doing something very exciting I've never done this here before we're going to a cooking class in Asakusa I'm just so excited because we're gonna be making sushi miso soup I look so fluffy today I hope this will she's so hard. fluffy I'm gonna die <laughs> It's so hard to move with this because yeah. my sweater is so thick. Big. I feel like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the dog, you're the hot dog. <laughs> making two types of Japanese food, miso balls and temari sushi. I'll take you through the steps so you can recreate it at home. So for the miso ball, I'm gonna take 90 grams of white miso paste, 4 grams of bonito flakes, 5 grams of dashi for that savory taste. After that, we're adding 2 grams of sakura shrimp and mixing it all together. Here, I'm coating the miso balls with different toppings. Once I'm finished, I can add one miso ball and add hot water to it. Then we got ourselves a yummy miso soup. This reminds me of Bucci. Next up is the temari sushi. We need 250 grams of white rice, add 25 grams of sushi vinegar, mix it all together, and with this, we can make 9 pieces of sushi. And look how pretty your view is. Hey, Tadakimasu! Which one do we try first? I think the soup. We're finally gonna try our masterpiece. It took us two hours to make this. <laughs> the view here is so pretty. She asked us if we wanted to eat downstairs or up here. And we didn't really know how this place looked like, but it's this nice rooftop overlooking the river. This activity was so worth it. Highly recommend. Moment of truth. Let's see if it's actually good. Mine. Okay. Mm! Seaweed. This is so yummy. This is my first sashimi experience in Japan. Unforgettable. Wait, it's a wrap of milk. Sounds to eat the sushi. <laughs> sushi balls. Yeah, I love this. We're gonna check to see our fortune. First, we have to shake this. Her miso ball fell inside the bag. <laughs> One omikoji or fortune written on a strip of paper costs 100 yen. It's just something fun to check out in temples and shrines here in Japan. We passed by this strawberry mochi star and you guys know the trail. Of course, we have to get one. We got strawberry mochi. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's good. Next stop is Odaiba. We're taking a more scenic route. We're riding a cruise from Asakusa to Odaiba. There's so many things to see around this area, so I thought it would be fun to hop on the water bus instead of riding the subway. We booked this through Club. I think it was around 500 pesos for a one-way ride. This view is giving New York vibes. It's one of the places I really want to visit. Hopefully, I get to fly there soon. that I love about traveling around Japan is they have Wi-Fi almost everywhere. It is convenient but 
there's a higher chance that I can get hacked when I use a public Wi-Fi. In order to protect my public data, like my passwords, my bank accounts, since I do a lot of online shopping, I use Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN that gives me privacy whenever I'm online. What it does is it encrypts or blurs my information whenever I'm connected to the internet. It's also an app and a browser extension which allows you to travel virtually all over the world. I'm sure most of you guys watch Netflix as well and a lot of the TV shows there or movies aren't always available. I use Surfshark almost every day because here in Japan they don't have like a good selection of movies so I always connect to the Canada server because they have a wide range of movies available. If you're traveling soon or you need a VPN to keep your digital life secured or maybe you just want more movie options on Netflix, definitely check out Surfshark. I have a discount code for you guys. You can use the code AIKA to get 83% off and 3 months for free. If you think about it, it's only around $2.21 a month and even more affordable if you share it with your friends, your family. You can definitely share your account since they allow unlimited devices. If you want to try it out, make sure to click the link in the description box so they know you came from here. Good morning from Mount Fuji! Finally made it to Snowtown Yeti. It's my first time experiencing snow in Japan. I'm with Ashley right now and it's both our first time <laughs> being here and actually like touching snow. And here's our lunchbox. It's 3.30 p.m. We have two hours to go around the temple. We were really hungry, so I told Ashley that we have to go to the food hall because here there's gonna be like a lot of choices. This roast beef bowl really caught my eye because it looks like Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji looks stunning, by the way. It's right in front of me right now, and it's so beautiful. The view here is amazing, so you get really good food and amazing view. I've been wanting to try this because I saw this one on Instagram. I think they also have a branch in Harajuku. Not really that expensive. It's only around 1,100 yen because I didn't get the set. I only got the beef bowl, so it's a bit more affordable. in Shinjuku and I'm helping Ashley pick out her pasalubangs. We're at Donkey right now and we're getting a lot of chocolates! The best chocolate ever. There's a backstory for each item. Yeah, because from Aika. I'm telling her all my favorite snacks here. So this one's my childhood favorite. Like I can finish two packs in a day. Bad influence. <laughs> Are you sure you only want to get one? <laughs> This is a staple if you're going to Japan, stock up on this. It's really affordable and it's so delicious. I've never tried this but it's so cute. We're at the station right now taking photos at the photo booth. This is actually for like the passport photos, IDs and all that. And I usually take my photos here like for documents. So this is my first time using it for like Instagram for aesthetic purposes. I'm picking between this first photo and this fourth photo girls be like which one looks better <laughs> and they both look alike so here you can pick different colors of the background gray brown but i think we're going for this pink one yay we got it we're heading to kura sushi which is a revolving sushi restaurant. I'm really tempted to get coffee because it's gonna be a long night and I need energy. I've only had one cup a while ago so I think I should get coffee. <laughs> We 
We have a tablet here where you can order the sushi. This one's only 125 yen. This one's also 125 yen. And it has beef kalbi. And they love anything with beef on it, so I really like this. It's so flavorful. We got a bunch of stuff. She really said variety. I know. <laughs> Pretty. We're walking towards the Tokyo Tower. I really love this place, especially at night. Because the tower looks so beautiful when it's all lit up. It's such a romantic spot. Perfect spot to like go on picnics, date night. It smells so good. It's a dog's a chick magnet. <laughs> Lots of people have been wanting a photo with him. He's a celebrity. <laughs> We're at Family Mart right now because I got hash browns, my other favorite. But it's been days since I've seen the souffle pudding. Like I've been looking through every Family Mart we pass by and they have it here. It's been out of stock the past few days. I'm so happy. Should I hide one at the back? I think I'll do that. We're waiting for the bus right now and look what I found in the vending machine. We have corn soup. I always see this but I've never tried it and I'm curious how it tastes like. Hot corn soup. So it's perfect for like winter when you're extremely cold. Only in Japan. <laughs> Look what Ashley bought. I got her hooked on the souffle pudding. It's my favorite Japanese dessert. Because <laughs> I told her about it and I was like begging her to try it. And she finally did and she loves it. Yeah. This is my second souffle. It looks so good. You can share. We're walking towards Team Labs. It's literally right beside the Shin Toyosu station. We booked this through Klug. I cannot wait to go in and see the flowers, like the floating flowers. Yeah. It looks so magical from all the photos and videos I've seen. Yeah. 